welcome back. Well, welcome back to me. I've been gone for a while. Um, I've been sick, so I've been taking a very long break. For me, it's very long. I haven't taken this kind of break since I had my baby. And even then, I don't think it was this long of me not filming um, or posting something online. But um, yeah, I thought I would just sit down. We are sitting in my bedroom. We have the windows open and... Um, yeah, I thought I would just get ready for the day. This is the first time I'm putting makeup on in almost two weeks. That That's something. It's not quite two weeks. It's a week and a half. So if you guys are interested, continue watching. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Tanya. I'd love for you to subscribe down below. And let's get ready together. I forgot my mirror. I'll be right back got my mirror. I'm going to put my SPF on. I've done my skincare. First time I think I did my skincare. Sorry. It's like on its last leg. Um, I think this is the first time I've properly done my skincare, like last night and today, this whole time. <laughs> so my skin is um, struggling. We're also working with natural light. So if it goes bright and dark, it's, it's what it is. Um, for my foundation, well, no, I'm going to put a primer. I'm going to put my Hourglass Vanish. I'm not doing much today. I am still kind of tired and exhausted, but I do want a little bit of makeup. I want to feel like a human again. <laughs> I've been kind of debating what foundation I want to use. I think I want to use the Kosas. I may add a little bit of Makeup Forever. Um, I'm not sure. We'll see. Um, I'm going to start with Lisa Eldridge. This is her highlighter and this is in Cosmic Rose. But I want to put just a little bit of this first. And just brighten this up. So I have been um, having a rough time. I got an infection. This is the Kosa. So let's see if the color matches. So let me just use that one. It's a little light. I'm going to add a little bit of the makeup forever. Um, I got an infection. I'm going to try to not be too TMI. Um, I doubt everybody wants to know all the little details. But anyway, it's got an infection. I think it came from my belly. Uh, I had a C-section with the last baby and um, they had to cut a little higher because of um, some pregnancy issues that I had, placenta was in the way, and um, ever since, it's been a year and, what, three months, I have not healed. I am, it, it's not that I haven't healed, it gets infected um, because of how the skin and the belly uh, has healed and obviously it's my fourth child so things are not looking as good as they did before um so i think uh, i had an infection for i think close to a month at that point and um i think it spread uh, i went to the doctor for antibiotics um we checked for strep and I remember he looked into my mouth and he's like, oh, it's strep because my throat was so, looked kind of like strep. But when the results came in, the strep was negative um, and it moved to my ears and it moved to my joints and that was painful. <laughs> it was so bad. Um, I dare say that it was more painful than like natural delivery. I had natural delivery with my kids, not all of them, but some. Um, and th the joint pain was worse than labor. So yeah, I've, I'm, I've just been sick, sitting in bed. Um, and I'm on antibiotics now, now and feeling so much better, but I'm still just drained and tired and sweating and um yeah I'm just tired um not like I need to sleep I just need to sit down I try to record um 
once before and 20 minutes in, I'm like, we're turning this off. This is not going to work. Um, okay, I need to focus on actually blending this out. All right, I'm going to use the same Kosas Concealer. I have 2.3 and 3 here. I should have used a corrector because my under eyes are kind of bad, but I didn't bring it here, so I don't want to go get it. Um, it's okay. It's just for me. I'm not doing this to go anywhere. Um, how are you guys doing? I've missed you. It's been, it's been too long. You guys have been so sweet. You've been, many of you have reached out to see how I'm doing and that meant so much. Um, I said that you miss my videos and things like that. So that meant a lot because, you know, it just made me feel, I don't know, like I'm doing something right. Um, so yeah, thank you for, for reaching out. And I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys aren't sick. Uh, a few of you said that like you're struggling with COVID or other illnesses and that's just no fun. I feel like my skin looks pretty awful right now. Um, it's so important to take care of your skin. And, you know, when I don't, like it goes a week without me doing my skincare, um, you can definitely see it. Um, yeah, I, I, I didn't have strength to get up and go to my skincare. No, thank you. I do think I need more coverage under my eyes. I'm going to take the three, the color three, and add a little bit more here. Hopefully that will help. So while I was, you know, in bed all day, every day, I have been listening to the trial, the Johnny Depp and Amber Heard trial. Guys, are you watching it? What do you think? What are your thoughts? Um, uh, it was just kind of so sad that like it gets to a point where like you have to air your dirty laundry in front of the whole world. Mostly when you're, you know, a person kind of like Johnny Depp, for example, that like is more of a private person. He's not the one that will like to share everything he has and all, what he's doing. Like he's definitely more private person. And I'm just like, oh, that must feel so awful. Somebody to go through your text messages and I don't know, it just sucks. But it's been... <laughs> It's been so hilarious most of the time. Like that, the manager at the um, like place that they were living. I mean, I was cracking up. It was so funny. He was literally vaping and driving away while being like on stand. Because they were like doing Zoom, I suppose. Um, it was so funny. I have here the Say Powder. Um, my under eyes are a little dark. Right now, I don't love that, but that's okay. Um, anyway, so I've been kind of sitting there, literally seven hour trial. I'm there just falling asleep and kind of listening. And anyway, that's what I've done. <laughs> so if you need any details about their trial, I have the information for you. Dang, my skin is not looking that great. I'm going to do my brows real quick. Same old, same old. My um, Gucci powder pencil and then a little bit of Kosas gel. I'll do that and be right back. Oh, I did forget to mention that I got these Hourglass um, new lip products. Phantom Volumizing Glossy Balm. So I'm going to wear those today. But yeah, I was going to say that in the beginning but I forgot um okay brows are done and then I'm gonna use a contour bronzer this is from Patrick Ta she's uh sculpted I think and ugh, this is the medium shade and I absolutely love it I haven't used the light one much I like the contour cream contour color but it's just pretty light so I've been really loving this well really as much as I could because I haven't worn makeup in like a week and a half. Uh, I'm going to take the Patrick Ta brush actually. This is really nice. It's for contour it says. I'm taking the cream one and I will be contouring a little bit. 
Oh, I love this color so much. I'm really hoping um, the light is decent. It's so hard. Like people that record in natural light all the time, I respect them because I think it's very hard because you can't control the light. So it's like either super bright and then I feel like I have to turn things down or cover some light or something or it's super dark. Um, it's so unreliable. And then with a fluffy brush, I'm gonna take a, this down here, the powder and just kind of bronze up. So we are um, going on a vacation uh, slash wedding. This is a family wedding. So we're gonna go to Savannah. Um, I love Savannah so much. Um, my husband kind of grew up there. So we try to go quite often, not to see anybody. We just like the city. So we're going to go there um, like this week. I have to pack everything. And I still am struggling with like just moving around and all that. But um, yeah, we're going to go this week. So I'm probably going to focus my energy just packing. I'm going to take the Dennis and Myricks um little like palettes blush these two um i'm wondering if i should do brighter or just go neutral let me start with this one right here and i may put a little bit of brightness on top of that these are so beautiful look at that oh so pretty and this looks so dark it's really not like you could definitely use it And then I want to make it just a little bit just more summery, brighter. I'm going to take this pink right here and dab it right here. I was thinking to bring the um, Huda ones here. Um, but then I saw this and I'm like, oh, I haven't used it in a little bit. And it's so good. I'm going to take that highlighter one more time from Lisa Eldridge and just dot a little bit here and a little bit there and I'm definitely using my fingers for this look at that glow so pretty I'm gonna take just a little bit more of this powder and powder kind of everywhere a little bit I powder just a little bit everywhere because I am sweating <laughs> The good thing that happened this week is that the weather was absolutely perfect. It was like 60s, 70s, so the kids have been outside a lot, so that helped my husband quite a bit. I'm uh, spraying a little bit of my Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. Look how little I have left. Like, it's barely gone. I do have replacement. Do not worry. Okay. For the eyes, I picked these two. This is the Victoria Beckham little quad. I can open it. I hate their opening and closure. All the Victoria Beckham like system, I don't love it. But, oh, I love that so much. I used to wear it almost all, all the time. And this is the Natasha Denona Mini Biba. And this is absolutely beautiful as well. Um, let me use this one because... I don't think I gave it enough love and it's a really good um, palette. The only thing with this one is that it does pull pretty pinky, orangey on the skin. So I'm going to take this. This is the lightest one and put in my crease. I'm not doing much of anything. I'm just, see, that's pretty it's bright to me. Like, I, I wish it was just a little bit more neutral. But if you like pinky peaches, they're beautiful. And then I'm going to take this one right here. And just kind of put it on the outer area. To darken up this corner. That calms it down a little bit. It's not quite as vibrant. 
I'm going to do the same thing on the lower lash line. Um, nothing special here. And taking the other brown. I don't think I want to put this bright color all over right now. Or should I? It's pretty. Let's do it. My phone is literally just nonstop, just vibrating here next to me. I'll put this kind of all over. That's a beautiful color. It's maybe a little bit more intense than I wanted it for my everyday look, but oh well. That is it for the eyes. I'm gonna put a mascara on and I'm gonna come back and try the new Hourglass Lipis, which I did try them in store and they are, oh, they're so good. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, I used my Bite Beauty Mascara and this is the finished look. Okay, I'm gonna move on to these lipsticks. Um, this is called Phantom Volumizing Glossy Balm. I got mine in two shades, Slip and Trace. And when I saw that these came out, I was kind of interested. I haven't purchased any hourglass in quite some time. Um, and these looked interested, but interesting, but all the colors seemed so red and dark. But I was suspecting that it's probably not how they're going to go on the lips. So there is um, another color that's lighter as well. Um, but anyway, I'll show you how these look. So these have a twisty. So you have to kind of twist from the bottom. And I don't, I mean, don't quote me on that, but I don't think they're going to go back down once you uh, squeeze them up. So this one is Trace, and I will swatch it. This is pretty much like a lip gloss. Okay, it looks right there. And like, as you can see right in here, it kind of definitely is ruining it. This reminds me a whole lot of the M Cosmetics. Uh, what are they? They're called like the, they're, they're pretty much the same thing. It's like a um, lipstick, lip gloss in one. And then I'll swatch slip next to it. And then when you swatch, if you press too much, it just kind of melts. So be gentle, mostly when you swatch, cause like, look, and I didn't even press hard and there's like product all around it, but it's the nature, it's the nature of the product. So that one is slip and then trace. I was very surprised at myself for picking these up instead of the lightest one that's like, more like a light pink but I got so many of the Dior lipsticks they were pink that I'm like I I don't need more pink pink like like that light baby pink okay so I'm gonna try first slip look at that let me twist a little bit more I mean these are <laughs> Very glossy. Um, let me try to fix it. A little bit like messy. This is so glossy. It feels a little bit minty, but not too much. In my opinion, this is pretty much the same thing as the M Cosmetics ones. And even those, it's kind of like they're so soft that they get smooshed pretty much. And it's not hard necessarily to put it on, but it's not even, if that makes sense. But that's all I have on. I don't have any lipstick, any gloss, nothing, no lip liner. I don't know if I would use a lip liner with this. Maybe initially to try to keep the product more on my lips and not moving around. Maybe I would do that, but yeah. Okay, let me put the other one on. This is the one I was excited about, Trace. Because more brownie. I 
if I have one word of advice, don't push. <laughs> it is so um, pigmented initially that if you push too much, you're going to just smush the product. So this is Trace, and I like this one a little bit more. I like that it has a little bit more of a brownie undertone, but it's not too brown. These are so glossy. They're very nice. I, I like them, but they're a little tricky. Like I think, I think you need to understand what it is pretty much. Um, because let me put a little, the pink on top of it. I do think you kind of need to know what you're getting yourself into. Understand that this is almost like a lip gloss in a stick tube. Uh, so it's, it's, more likely that it's going to move a little bit and again it's a very very soft but beautiful that feels really nice i wore one the other day uh, that i tried in sephora and they lasted nicely but they're fade like they're gonna move it's it's pretty much a lip gloss but it's very nice all right guys uh, this is the finished look i think it looks really pretty we have beautiful glowy skin the eyes are more than i wanted but uh, that like gold uh, not gold like that metallic color right here is really beautiful this is just such a beautiful little palette like if you're um not wanting to commit to the bigger natasha denona ones um these are 25 dollars, and i think they're wonderful there's many of them that are great um I had a couple more as well, but I'm loving that one. Uh, and I really like the lip products. I think they're absolutely stunning. Um, they're very comfortable. And once you get over the shock of it being so creamy, they're, they're really good. So yeah, I am planning to hopefully get back in my regular schedule. I usually post three to four times a week. Um... I will be gone also uh, about a week, but maybe I'm going to vlog some. I think that would be fun. Do some like what I packed for vacation kind of videos. I love those because uh, you get to see what people want to pick from their whole collection. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for, you know, reaching out and making sure I was okay, that the kids were okay. Um, and I'm very thankful for you guys. I hope you guys have a good one and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.